week, tomorrow's world dives underwater. A lot of people think about going diving, but are put off by the equipment. It hasn't changed much since Jacques Cousteau's Aqualung revolutionized the sport in the 1940s. But now there's a new lightweight set of gear aimed at novice divers like James. When I dream, I dream of diving. James is 11 and is going to put the new gear to the test. He hopes it's easier than the traditional kit. The current equipment consists of a cylinder containing compressed air and a regulator to control the airflow from the cylinder to your mouth so you can breathe. It's all attached to a jacket that allows you to control your buoyancy, which means how fast you rise and sink in the water. Now, the last time I went diving was four years ago, and I'm pretty rusty. Well, there you go. I'm ready to get into the water. I think I could be wearing this. This backpack claims to contain all you need. It's called a mini breather and is the invention of Rob Hart. Well, I came up with the idea to try and make a product that would make things easier for people that just wanted to try diving occasionally. And that's what diving's all about. All we do is remove the cover. And everything you need to go diving's right here. All we're going to do is push all these hoses through the top, just like this. The hoses are the same as in the normal kit. Your regulator, a spare, a buoyancy control, and a gauge to tell you how much air is left. There we go. James, if you can stand up, let's put this on your back. It weighs about half the amount of the standard dive kit. There we go. If we turn you around here, let's talk you through the piece. The cylinder was once on your back and now it's right in the bottom here. It's a lot more comfortable. And a lot smaller as well. Yeah. Don't need a lot of air for the kind of diving that James is going to be doing. The cylinder can last up to 40 minutes for a shallow dive, but not if you're going to the depths of the ocean. There's also room for a couple of weights, so you shouldn't need a weight belt either. Then we have this bag that replaces the jacket. That's the one that you put onto your big cylinder earlier on. This is what will give you the ability to go up and down when you want to. If we just close that over and zip it up. And that's it. That's Ready it. to go. So while James is putting on his wetsuit, I'm going to try this out. Now, as you can see, it's a lot easier to put on than the other equipment I was wearing before. Now, this is London Aquarium's Atlantic tank, and it's pretty cold in there. The backpack takes about a minute to adjust to my size. This tank holds 750,000 litres of water and simulates the environment of British coastal waters. Amongst other things, I'm diving with dogfish, sea bass, bream, and conger eels. Well, that was wonderful. Cold, but very beautiful. And the great thing about this is that it's so small and so light that it means you can turn really easily to look at the fish. The other good thing about it is that one size fits all. So it's going to fit you, James, and it's all yours. There you go. James has taken an introduction to diving course in a swimming pool, but he wants to swim with fish, and although the Atlantic tank isn't usually open to divers, today he'll get the chance. In return, he has to tell us what he thinks of the backpack. What did you think of it? It was really exciting. Really? Yeah. What did you like most? I liked it when the fish had got crammed together. Uh, they looked like they were really scared. And how did you find the equipment? The mini bee was easy to use in, to use and the others because like they're smaller so they're, they're, you can get it, it's easier to turn around in. Were you yeah. frightened? Uh, yeah. Of what? Of the eels because like, they look really frightening. So James is convinced, but it's not only beginners who could benefit. The inventor thinks it could be useful to have on standby for emergencies, for example, getting into the water quickly for a rescue situation. We shall see if it makes the underwater world a more accessible place.